this video, I am going to show how to apply a server-side OCO bracket trade onto the Infinity AT web-based charts. It's very easy. Now let's take a look. I'm going to go to my chart itself. It's a 10-minute E-mini S&P candlestick chart. And I'm going to go to the upper right corner where I see the, the up and down arrow, which will activate the trade area. And once I activate the trade area, this whole window will expand. Now, to place an actual trade, I'm going to click on my choice, either market order, buy order, buy limit, or sell limit. I'm going to click on the buy uh, order, and it's going to punch up a ticket here. And this ticket is giving me the option to change the price. I could do that by dragging up and down to the place I want and uh, change the lot size if I'd like. Right now, it's defaulted at 1. So I'm going to do that, but I'm also going to add a stop loss to this particular trade. So I'm going to click on the plus side, and it will apply a stop loss, which I could drag to the position I'd want, I want it to be at. I could drag it to the position whatever I want it to be at, and you can see the line behind there moving to give me a graphical representation of where it's going to go. Then I could add a profit target. I'm going to click Add a Profit Target, and again, we have another little mini flag here where I could kind of or label we can call it if you want and I could kind of position my profit target where I'd like okay when I'm happy with all this configuration I'm gonna hit the buy button okay now it's placed a limit order uh, with the exchange in my account and I just got filled you heard the ding and you see there's my there are my indications that I have a profit target up here and I have a stop up there and of course if I wanted to look at that on the actual trading ladder it's also totally in sync with the trading ladder and then it's here. The unique thing about this is now that I've placed this simple bracket order uh, on a trade, it is server side. In other words, it's not resident on your computer or on your iPhone or on your Apple Macintosh or your PC or laptop. It's actually server side. So now when I log out and log back in, it will be there uh, still working at the exchanges and still in operation. Now let's go ahead and do the same trade from the opposite side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to simply uh, flatten my position. And I'm actually going to flatten my position as well as cancel those that bracket, that working order. I have the option not to, but I'm going to, so I'm going to click on that. And it'll, it'll cancel it all and flatten my position. It'll flatten it at the market. So let's do a sell side, a sell uh, limit order. Let me pull it up a little bit here so we don't get filled right away. I'm going to add a stop. You know, stop is going to come above here. And there is there is the option to trail your stop, by the way, and we'll get into that in a second. I'm going to add a profit target right here on the chart. Let's drag that down a little bit. And I don't want to get filled right away because I want to show you something. So the dark line on this red label shows it's a one lot and it means it's actually working. It's a real order. The stop loss has a dashed line and the target has a dashed line. That indicates that the bracket instructions have been sent server side and are ready to go. But since you're not filled yet, these are not orders at the exchange just yet. Once you get filled, they turn into solid green lines, right? So this is a buy limit down below. And this is a this would be a buy limit down below, and this is a buy stop up above. So let's go ahead and, and, and uh, let's go ahead and try to get filled here. So I'm gonna move us move us closer to the to the market at 30, 32.70 and a half. And once that happens, now it, now you see the dotted lines turn into solid lines. These are working at the exchange, these orders, and your instructions for this OCO, order cancels order, are uh, server side, not on your computer. Now, the other uh, thing you could do here, of course, is add, if you go to studies, average open trade equity price. If you click on that, it will put a line on your chart and a white flag that shows you where your position is from. And we could see ES, we're short one here. And our open trade PL is, is, is zero because we're right at the, at the number. Um, and then the closed trade PL from earlier was $75. So this is a demo account, as you can see in the upper right. And we simply just have to uh, 
do whatever we want to do and you know go about our busy day and uh, with confidence that uh, our order is ready to go. If you want to remove the OC OTE price, you just click there and remove it. It's pretty simple. One last thing I want to mention is once you are filled on a, on a server-side OCO bracket trade, you can certainly modify either of the legs of your bracket. Just simply clicking on it to replace it. Clicking on it to replace it. It's really that easy. Hope that helps. Please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you find these videos helpful. Have a good day.